Welcome to STEM School. Today we'll be looking at 1.2. We finished with 1.1 proofs. Now we're looking at algebraic expressions. The topics we'll be covering are um, expanding brackets, factorizing, difference of two squares, dots, algebraic fractions, and some exercises. Learning objective for expanding brackets. We'll be looking at um, how to use and expand brackets. We'll be um, identifying common factors and take uh, those common factors out of the bracket. And we'll also be simplifying complicated expressions, including algebraic fractions. One, so let's look at single brackets. Single brackets, such as um, if we have um, A plus B, which is then multiplied by C. So C is multiplied to one bracket. We can expand this bracket by basically multiplying out the um, bracket so we do c times a plus c times b so that's how we multiply the bracket out so we would get a c i have to say a because alphabetically a com comes before c plus b c so that bracket has been expanded. Now we're going to expand a double bracket. So we get a double bracket, say A plus B and C plus D. And that meant times. So there's a, even though there's nothing there, that meant times. Or well, sometimes you can represent time as a dot. So that also means times or period, which means times. Again, we would do the same thing by basically multiplying out. So we start with um, A times C. So that's the first multiplication, A times C plus, because there's a plus here, a times D. So that's the first multiplication we'll do when we're doing double bracket. So you do AC plus AD. And the second multiplication will be using the B here. You'll be doing BC times BD. So that'll be the second multiplication. So that'll be plus, because there's a plus there, plus B times C. So that'll be C bar BC plus B times D plus BD. And so that's how we do expansion for double brackets. Now we're going to do a square brackets. In this case, a square bracket will be A plus B squared. Well, A plus B squared is basically A plus B dot or times A plus B. And to expand this, we just do the same thing we did before with a double bracket, so we would get, um, so let's start with this one, a times a, well that's a squared, and we get a times b, that's a b. So let's write those out, a squared plus a b. And then we would try also with b, B times A 
that's b times a, that's a b again, and b times b, that b, so that will be b squared, so plus a b plus b squared. Now we need to simplify, so let's just look at common terms, so a squared plus a b plus a b will be 2 a b plus b squared. So that's the expansion of a uh, square bracket. Now we're going to look at long brackets. With a long bracket, say for instance, we have um, x plus y plus z and we're multiplying that by a plus b plus c plus d. So the way to go with this one would be to multiply x by the whole bracket. So that's one thing. So we, let's just do that. That will be x into bracket a plus b plus c plus D, close bracket. Now we want to do Y multiply by the whole bracket as well. So multiplying Y by the whole bracket would be plus Y into bracket A plus B plus C plus D, close bracket. And then finally we want to uh, multiply z with the whole bracket as well. Okay, so you, you get you get plus because it's a plus in front of z, so that'd be z into bracket um, a plus b plus c plus d. And so that's how we then and then we then obviously um, you can add a expand it again or just leave it like that so that's how we uh, multiply out brackets this is for longer brackets squares double and single brackets so here's an exercise uh, the volume of a cylinder is given by pi r squared h so if you draw a cylinder, you would know. So obviously you guys know what a cylinder is. So my drawing is terrible. That's R. This height here is H. And so that's what the cylinder is. And they, they say the volume is pi R squared H. So obviously we know what it is. We know volume is always pi r squared h in this case. Um, because the pi r squared is the area. As you know, volume is area times uh, length or height or width. And the area and the bottom of a cylinder is a circle. So area of a circle because it's a prism. It's the area and then extruded by length h so area of a circle pi r squared times h and that's how we get pi r squared h for volume um where r is the radius and h is the height a certain cylinder has a radius of three times its height three times its height take away two minus two. We then need to find the volume of the cylinder in terms of H, and there should be no brackets in, in our answer. So we know that radius, you can find the radius, isn't it? So radius R is, according to that one, it says radius is three times its height. So that's three times H, that's three H, take away two and that will be the radius as centimeters so basically following the um, instruction 
And now what we now need to do is work out the volume. So volume is uh, pi r squared h, which will become pi into brackets. So now we've got our first bracket, 3h minus 2 squared. So it's a square bracket in this case, times h. Now we need to expand a square bracket. Um, so we use the basic method of expanding the square bracket, um, which is, um, so if we have, as you know, if, so what we have to do, you, you could actually write it this way. So 3h minus 2 times 3h minus 2 times h. So we could do that and then expand the bracket. To do the exp bracket expansion, so we just need to do three times, three H times three H as the first one, and then three H times minus two. And then the second expansion will be uh, two times three H minus two times three H and minus two times minus two. Yep. And so let's do that. We'll do this expansion. So we will get, so we get pi. That's the first thing we get there. I'll put that in the square bracket just to help me so I don't uh, make a mistake. 3h times 3h is 9h squared. So that'll be 9 h squared 3 h times minus 2 would be minus 6 h minus 2 times 3 h would be minus 6 h and minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4 so those are in square bracket and I've got my h outside and now I need to basically multiply the whole lot whole lot out so 9h squared times h, which is 9h cubed, times pi. So it will be 9 pi h cubed. 9h squared times h times pi. So 9 pi h cubed minus, now this is minus 6h and minus 6h, 6h is minus 12 h so minus 12 h times h will be minus 12 h squared times pi will be minus 12 pi h squared the reason why we put pi before the h is because pi is actually 3.14 so pi is a fixed number so basically you always put number before the letters and and then we got four left so that'll be four pi h four times pi times h so that'll be plus four pi h and then obviously don't forget to put a unit so that'll be centimeter cube because the radius the height is in centimeter and the radius um also will be in centimeter that will be the answer now question two carol's garden is a square with sides of length x meters so if i write carol garden so that's a square Okay, so that's x and x. So they're all x's. Right, and Mark's garden is a rectangle. So we've got Mark's as well. Mark's garden. And it's a rectangle, so that's longer. Right. Um, a rectangle. 
one side of the rectangle is three meters longer than the side of the square and the other and the other side is twice as long as the side of the square right so one side is um three meters long so that would be this side let's say this side have x plus three that's three meters so that's three meters longer than the square so the square is x so that x plus three and the other side is twice it says is twice as long as the side of the square so that be 2x plus an extra meter so that'd be 2x plus one so that'd be 2x twice as long plus extra meter extra meter means adding one meter so that'd be plus one so this are, that's the what we've got there and then it says find the difference in area right between max garden and carol's garden so with carol's garden we need to find the area so the area for carol's garden so i put area here for carol that will be x times x so that'll be x squared so now just that's from x dot x that's x squared and for max garden i would be having um so the area for that one for mark will be x plus three then multiply by two x plus one so that means i've got square brackets to work on now uh so not square bracket two brackets to work on double brackets so that would be x times 2x and we'll be doing x times one so that's one thing we're doing there and the other one will be three times 2x and three times one so that's how we're going to expand that and so in doing that we get x times 2x would be 2x squared because that's x times x is x squared and the 2 comes with the x so that's 2x squared plus x times 1 is just x two uh, three times 2x all these are pluses by the way three times 2x would be uh 6x and then three times one would be plus three. So um, now we need to collect like terms. So that would be two x squared plus seven x plus three. Uh, that's the area there. That's in meters squared, because it's in meters. And the x squared is also in meters squared. And the question then said, the next part of the question is referring to find a difference. So difference means to take away. So it's one of the operators, um, which is minus operators in getting between marks. So we have to take, put marks first, Garden and Carol. So mark first and then minus Carol. That's what I meant. Marks Garden minus Carol. So what we have to do now is to work out difference. So we have to say, I'm going to write it here. Difference will be, because it's a mark space, so I have to do 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Take away Carol's garden, which is um, x squared. Again, using the like terms, x squared, x squared, 2x minus x squared is just going to be x squared. It's like saying two oranges minus one orange is going to be one orange. Um, and then there is no other thing to take away from, so I just have what's left is 7x 
plus 3. Uh, by the way, knit is squared. So that would be a area of mark garden minus area of Carol's garden. And the answer is x squared plus 7x plus 3 meters squared.